Hello, good afternoon. I'm Nika from Shopee Business Development. And we welcome you again to our, our cargo importing training series. So before we hand over this uh, series to Cargo Boss, uh, let me share something for our new seller uh, program. So for here. So good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our series. So we are thrilled to have you. And we hope that you'll be able to find this informative and useful for your business. So here at Shopee, we foresee that this is the future and we invite you to become part of this innovative industry where you can sell, shop, play, win, and connect with like-minded people. So we have this new seller growth program wherein we provide an eight-week free program designed to boost your sales on our platform. So here are the benefits of the program that we have for you. So as you can see, we will give you a dedicated relationship manager. And in this program, we welcome all sellers coming from different walks of life. So whether they're selling products from FMCG, lifestyle, electronics, or fashion, each seller will have their own dedicated account manager that will guide them on their commercial performance all throughout the eight week program. Uh, being part of this new seller growth program will improve your shop visibility. So we do it by giving you initiatives like flash sales and you know making uh, exclusive uh, collections on double day campaigns, okay? We will also give you operational support. So in order for our sellers to have the best experience in this program, we provide them with operational support and we make sure that all of their concerns are properly addressed, especially with their items. Requesting for additional couriers, doing reactive appeals for penalty points that are beyond control of sellers and also payment concerns. We will also give you a waived commission fee for FSS and CCB. These are for first-time users only, okay? So once you are part of the program, you will have six weeks of free trial. So this will start from week three of being onboarded on this program, and then it will last until week eight. We will also give you free paid ads credit for 3,000 pesos to boost your shop exposure. So we will give you this on week three of the new seller growth program. And currently right now you are part of the seller education program. So some of us are actually new sellers here. So being part of the new seller growth program as well will give you access to seller education programs like what we have right now so that you will be fully equipped with the knowledge of and skills of operating your shop here on our platform. So these trainings are very essential and helpful for you sellers as to optimize your shop and help you uplift in orders and sales, okay? We also have our seller affiliate program. So this is an exciting new program that we had that we added here on our new seller growth program. This is where sellers can earn monthly cash incentives just by sharing their Shopee store links to new buyers on different social media platforms. So this helps not only gaining new followers, but also maximizing publicity reach outside Shopee. So it is a good way of increasing your audience outside the Shopee platform. And then we also have the chat broadcast. So these are for whitelisted sellers only. So some of our sellers are organic sellers already. So you can have this one as part of the new seller program. And then last but not the least, we also have Shopee live stream as part of our benefits. Okay. So Shopee live stream is where you can sell products through an engaging tool like Shopee live stream and where you can showcase your products and chat with customers live. So if you want to learn more about the new seller growth program, 
uh, look at your screen right now and you can scan the QR code, okay? So maybe I'll give you like a minute or so so that after that we can start with Cargo Boss. All right. Okay. So again, welcome to the cargo importing training series. And now we will have Cargo Boss Philippines to help you start your importing journey here on Shopee Philippines. Thank you so much. Hi, Ms. Jessa, you can now share your screen. Hi, everyone. Oh, hi, baby. Hi. So, okay ba yung mic ko? Check ko lang po before ako mag-start. Pa-comment lang po sa chat box if okay naman yung yes. yes. Clear. Okay, thank you so much po. So, yan, yeah, nakakatawa naman ang daming comments. <laughs> thank you so much po sa lahat ng nag-feedback. So, si Cargo Boss, meron po siyang promo ngayon. Before po kasi is 11,000 yung per CBM natin. So, naging, naging 10,250 per CBM po tayo. And meron po tayong gains mamaya na before Q&A. Before Q&A po, magkakaroon tayo ng games And pipili po kami ng apat na tao na mananalo ng 500 pesos discount per CBM. So, instead na 11,000 per CBM yung babayaran nyo, ang babayaran nyo na lang kapag nanalo kayo sa Cargo Boss is 9,750 per CBM. So, need lang natin is makinig talaga dito sa webinar na to. So, Mamaya po sagutin po namin lahat ng questions sa Q&A portion. Lagay nyo lang po yung question nyo dito sa Q&A na chat box. Okay, before tayo mag-start. Ah, okay, start na po pala. So, good afternoon. Welcome po sa ating webinar na hosted by Shopee and Cargo Boss Philippines. Today's topic po is all about basic steps in importing from China to Philippines. So, ano nga ba yung importing? So, importing is the process of bringing in up goods into one country from abroad for sale. So, ito po yung o-order ka ng mga products sa ibang bansa katulad ng China papunta dito sa Philippines. So, China to Philippines. Importing po yung tawag doon. So, where do most business in Philippines import their goods? So, based dito sa graph natin, meron po tayong graph dito. And this is graph by January 2019. So, based dito, nung January 2019, ang pinakamalaking bilang na bansa kung saan kumukuha yung mga kapwa nating Pilipino ng mga items ay sa China. So, nangunguna po yung China kung saan tayo kumukuha ng mga items. So, benefits of importing versus buying from local local suppliers. So, ano nga ba yung magiging benefits kapag nag-import tayo na items instead na sa local suppliers tayo bibili? So, number one, you become the supplier. Number two, you control the number of stocks that you have. Number three, 
you can effectively cut down on costs. In return, you can have higher profit margins. And number four, you can compete with businesses that are directly sourcing from suppliers in China. So dahil nga mura natin makukuha yung mga items sa China, kapag nag-import tayo, mas marami talaga siyang benefits kesa sa pagbili natin ng dito sa local suppliers. Since yung ibang local suppliers po is hindi sila direct from factory or manufacturer. So where to find a supplier? So sa isang basic na tanong, kapag naisipan natin mag-import, ito yung isang basic na tanong kapag naisipan natin mag-import. So para sa lahat ng starters, nire-recommend po namin na maghanap ng supplier sa alibaba.com. This can be downloaded in the Google Play Store for the Android user and the Apple Store for iOS users. Pwede rin po natin i-visit yung alibaba.com kapag laptop yung gamit natin. So, yung, yung sinample po namin dito is yung gamit yung cellphone since, since karamihan po sa atin is ang mga gamit ay cellphone po. So, what is alibaba.com? So, Alibaba is a Chinese multinational technology corporation that is specialized in e-commerce and retail. Number two, it is where most big factories in China post their products. Number three, it is similar to Shopee and Lazada except that the products that are listed comes from the main suppliers or factories. Sa Alibaba, doon po nagpo-post yung mga suppliers natin sa China ng mga items na binibenta nila. Halos same lang siya gamitin yung Shopee and Lazada but yung mga suppliers natin sa Alibaba, nagda-direct sila mismo sa main factories or direct supplier sila mismo. So next, how to choose a trusted supplier in Alibaba? So one of the basic questions din to sa mga aspiring na importers. Ito ang laging tanong, hindi ba kami ma-i-scam dyan sa Alibaba? So for us to find a supplier, we need to do a little background checking on. These suppliers and look for these following badges. So before po tayo mag order sa isang supplier, need po natin i-check kung meron silang tatlong badges na to. Number one is gold supplier, number two is verified supplier, and number three is trade assurance supplier. And ito po yung sample kapag mag-background checking tayo sa profile ni supplier. Itong sample supplier is under siya ng trade assurance Meron din siyang gold supplier and meron din po siyang verified supplier na badge. Bonus na din yung years of industry ni supplier which is 6 years na siya and yung mga good feedbacks sa kanya. So for the next slide, we will explain the meaning of these badges. So Alibaba Trade Assurance. Ano nga ba ang meaning ng Alibaba Trade Assurance? Alibaba Trade Assurance is a free service offered by Alibaba.com that's designed to help create trust between buyers and suppliers. Trade Assurance covers you in the event of shipping or quality-related dispute. So kung Shopee users po tayo, syempre familiar po tayo sa Shopee Guarantee. Ito po yung counterpart ni Shopee Guarantee sa Alibaba. The Trade Assurance Badge, ito po ay one of the features ni Alibaba para mas maging maganda ang buying experience at binibigyan niya po tayo ng assurance and security para sa ating mga orders. If under ng Trade Assurance ang orders nyo, ito po yung magiging covered niya. Number one, if your products are, are not shipped, on time as per your agreement with supplier 
pwede po kayong mag-file ng refund or dispute anytime. So, number two, kapag hindi po na-meet ang quality na items as per contract nyo po with supplier, once na-receive nyo na po yung items, covered pa rin po siya ng trade assurance. So, next slide. Alibaba Gold Supplier. Alibaba Gold Supplier is a premium membership for suppliers on Alibaba.com. Members are provided with comprehensive ways to promote their products, maximizing product exposure and increasing return on investment. So, kung tayo bilang business owner, nag invest tayo sa ads. Ganon din po sa Alibaba. So, para maging isang gold supplier, nag invest ang mga supplier sa Alibaba sa pamamagitan ng pag a at pagbabayad ng premium membership. So, mas marami silang ways to promote their products and lagi pong nasa top ang search list ng kanilang products. So, lagi silang nasa top search list. So, masasabi po natin na legit ang isang supplier with badge na Alibaba Gold Supplier. So, last is Alibaba Verified Supplier. A verified supplier is a supplier for whom certain aspects of its company profile, management system, production capabilities, and product and process controls has been assessed, certified or inspected by independent third-party institution via online and offline means. So, itong badge naman na po, kung social media apps, users tayo, katulad ng, sh ng Shopee or Gcash, familiar din po kayo sa verified badge. Meron din po nito ang Alibaba suppliers. Pero hindi po lahat ng suppliers meron nito. Bali, ina-award lang po siya ni Alibaba para sa lahat ng suppliers na nakapagbasa ng needed certifications po sa kanila. Ito po yung mga needed certifications ni Alibaba para maging isang verified na suppliers. So, question. Kailangan po ba tatlong badge yung open kapag naghahanap ka ng supplier, which is yung trade assurance, gold supplier, or yung Alibaba bit? verified supplier. So, the, the answer is no po. Basta present yung trade assurance, pwede na to tignan. And tignan na rin po natin yung number of years nila sa industry. Mas recommended po kapag 3 years and above na po si supplier. And check din po natin yung reviews ng company nila mula sa mga previous nilang suppliers or customers. Sorry. So, how to contact a supplier in Alibaba? So, we have two ways po para ma-contact yung suppliers natin sa Alibaba. First, we can click the contact supplier button, which is ito po. Kapag gamit yung po is laptop. And second is you can click chat now button. And pwede na po tayong makipag-communicate kay supplier. So, kapag nakahanap na po tayo ng supplier and product, ano-ano po ba ang details na kailangan itanong po kay supplier? So, ito po yung mga important things na kailangan natin i sa supplier. Siyempre, first thing on your mind po is quality of the product we like to purchase. For example, dito, etong nasa baba. pag i ako sa supplier nang nagustuhan kong items, which is 100 pieces of women printed clothes. So, nag-ask ako sa supplier ko, nabigyan niya ako ng quotation para sa 100 pieces women printed clothes. Hihingyan ko rin siya ng document na tinatawag nating proforma invoice or PI na ang nakalagay do doon ay price ng items and quantity ng order natin para siyang formal quotation. So, ano nga ba yung naka-indicate na EXW price only? EXW is X-Works, meaning, i-deliver lang po locally in China ni supplier ang packages. 
based on the agreed location with buyer, which is dun po i-deliver ni supplier sa nearest na China warehouse natin sa kanya. So mostly kasi kapag ka foreigners ang nag inquire sa mga supplier dun sa Alibaba, expected na nila na sila yung mag arrange ng shipping hanggang sa country na nag-order sa kanila. Pero medyo mahal yun since yung gamit nila is DHL, PDX, or to go attack. And para mas mapamura po yung shipping fee natin from China to Philippines, sabihan po agad natin si supplier na meron tayong forwarder or agent in China which is si Cargo Boss po. And meron tayong three China warehouses. Bali kapag ka nag-okay po yung supplier nyo na i-deliver po dun sa agent or forwarder nyo yung items ilalagay po ni supplier sa proforma invoice nyo is yung price of goods plus total shipping cost to China warehouse. Bali, yung babayaran nyo po is total price of goods plus shipping cost China to China. So, ano nga ba yung three China warehouses natin? So, meron tayong warehouse sa Guangzhou, meron sa Shishi, and meron din sa Yiwu. So, ito po yung sample ng proforma invoice. So, paano nga po ba natin babayaran yung supplier natin? Number one, pay using debit or credit cards via Alibaba Trade Assurance para sa lahat ng first time na makakatransaction si supplier. Number two, pay using telegraphic transfer, wire transfer, or yung pabayad service po ni Cargo Boss para lang po doon sa mga meron ng trusted supplier since hindi po siya under ng trade assurance. So, ano nga po ba yung sample ng payment link or order link na binibigay ni supplier para makapagbayad tayo sa kanila? So, ito po yung sample ng payment link from supplier. So, kapag clinic ko siya, magda-directly siya dito sa payment. Sa payment. Pwede po kayong magbayad using credit or debit card. Pwede rin yung mga virtual cards like Gcash card or Paymaya virtual card. So, what is a freight forwarder? Freight forwarding is the process of bringing in your goods from the manufacturer to the customers or final point of distribution. So, freight forwarder is kami po yun, cargo boss. From China warehouse hanggang Malabon warehouse, kami na po yung bahala sa items nyo. So, ito po siya yung ginagawa ni Cargo Boss from China to Philippines. So, ano nga bang rate ni Cargo Boss? Para sa lahat ng packages na 0.2 CBM and below or less than 0.2 CBM. So, for example, dito sa package letter A, ang total CBM niya is 0.05 CBM. Sa package B, ang total CBM niya is 0.1 CBM. So, parehas po silang below 0.2 CBM, kaya yung magiging rate nila is 2,050 pesos per package. So, number two, package is greater than 0.2 CBM. So, paano nga ba yung magiging computation kapag yung package na order mo is greater than 0.2 CBM siya? So, for example, letter A. Total CBM niya is 0.500 CBM. So, 0.5 times 10,250. Ang babayaran niyo po kay, so, kay Cargo Boss is 5,125 pesos from China to Malabon na po. So, for example, yung letter B, total CBM niya is 1.5 CBM. So, 10,250 CBM times 1.5 equals 15,375 po yung babayaran nyo from China to Philippines. All-in rates na po yung rates na yun. So, para naman sa package na greater than 475 kg per CBM yung sukat nyo. For example, 1 CBM lang siya pero 600 kg yung weight ng items niya. 
Yung weight limit po kasi natin per CBM is 475 kgs na. Kaya, overweight na yung 600 kg. So, pagiging rate nito is 25 per kg. Bali, itong letter A, ang, ang total kg niya is 600. So, 25 times 600 is 15,000 pesos yung babayaran niya from China to Philippines. So, letter B. Ang total weight niya is 800 kgs. So, 25 times 800 equals 20,000 yung babayaran niya from China to Philippines. So, kapag ka nagbigay na po sa inyo si supplier ng mga dimensions in CRM, CM or meter, pwede nyo po siyang itry dito sa shipping rate calculator namin na makikita nyo sa website or sa application mismo ni Cargo Boss. So, para sa lahat ng 3 CBM and above na orders, basta 29 km away ka from our warehouse, free delivery po si Cargo Boss. So, ayun, 10,250 per CBM po lahat ng lahat ng commodity Maliban lang po sa mga cellphone or laptops po. So, ano nga ba yung included dun sa 10,250 per CBM natin na rate? So, customs taxes and fees included already. Wala na po kayong ibang aasikusuhin. Nadalahin na lang po ni supplier yung items nyo sa Malabon Warehouse and pipick upin nyo na lang po siya dun sa Sorry, dadalahin po ng suppliers nyo sa China Warehouse yung items nyo and pipick up nyo na lang siya sa Malabon Warehouse ni Cargo Boss. So, ito yung actual sample ng 1CBM. So, sikat na sikat kasi itong Hilton Pillows. Kaya ito yung naging sample namin for 1CBM. So, itong hawak niyang Hilton Pillows is 100 pieces and equal to 1CBM. So, ang binayaran niya lang from China to Philippines is... 10,250 pesos. Imagine ganyan na halahe. 10,250 pesos lang yung babayaran mo from China to Philippines. Tapos, eto naman po yung sample ng fixed rate natin, which is below 0 0.2 CBM. So, ang dimensions ng packaging ni customer is 50, 44, 37 in centimeter po. So, ang total CBM niya is 0 0.08 CBM. Since below 0 0.2 CBM siya, ang magiging rate niya is fixed rate at 2,050 pesos. Lahat po ng CBM below 0 0.2 CBM is magiging fixed rate siya at 2,050 pesos. So, ito naman po yung actual na sample ng 0 0.2 and above packages. So, for example, dito is 5 packages yung in-import ni customer. etong 5 packages na to, ang total CBM lang is 0 0.63 CBM. And ang binayaran niya lang from, from China to Philippines is 6,457.5 pesos. Customs and taxes duties included na po sa shipping rate ni Cargo Boss. Kaya wala na po kayo ibang iisipin. Hassle free transaction. So, ano nga ba yung included sa all in rates ni Cargo Boss, which is 10,250 per CBM? Number one, warehousing. Number two, consolidation and port piece in China. Number three, sea freight from China to, to the Philippines. Number four, custom duties and taxes. Number five, Part piece in the Philippines. Number six, our custom brokerage piece. And number seven, use of our import license and permit. So, kahit wala po kayong import license, pahahapag import pa rin po kayo na items sa China using Cargo Boss. So, bakit nga ba si Cargo Boss? So, mayroon pong real-time na tracking si Cargo Boss. nag email po kami ng updates from China to PH. So, number two, taxes and costume fees inclusive na rin. 
And number three, very competitive po yung rates ni Cargo Boss. So, ito po yung sample ng real-time tracking natin mula Booking Successful hanggang Manila Warehouse. mag email po sa inyo si Cargo Boss every time na merong, merong movement yung shipment nyo from China to Malabon. So, hassle-free importing by Cargo Boss Philippines step-by-step -step procedure sa application naman po. So, yung application po ni Cargo Boss is available sa Google Store, Google Play, or Apple Store. So, ayan. Para makapag-book po kayo ng shipment sa Cargo Boss, open nyo lang po yung app, then click nyo lang po itong three lines dito, and pipili lang po kayo sa three China warehouses natin. Siyempre, ibubook nyo po kung saan nearest si supplier or kung saan niya ipapadala yung items nyo. For example, sa Guangzhou, malapit yung supplier ko. So, Guangzhou rin yung i-checkout ko. Checkout lang, parang Shopee. Yan. So, pipil up nyo lang din yung mga details na needed. Google or Gmail, first name, last name, address, etc. Then, pipili lang po kayo kung 0.2 CBM and below yung items nyo or 0.2 CBM greater than new items nyo. Then, click nyo lang po yung same as shipping address or different billing address. After nun, complete booking lang. After nyo, makomplete booking, review nyo lang po lahat ng details nyo. Make sure lang po na tama lahat ng details na nilagay nyo, lalong-lalo na yung Gmail since dyan po kami mag updates ng shipments nyo. So, congratulations! Nakapag-book na po kayo sa application ni Cargo Boss. So, kapag katapos nyo mag-book ng, ng shipment sa Cargo Boss, mag email po agad kami sa inyo, including yung CBOSS code nyo. For example, CBOSS 4457. Ito po yung nakuha kong unique order number code ko. Kaya ayun din nyo, i-instruct ko kay supplier na ilagay sa bawat box na ipapadala niyang order ko. Yan. Lagay lang po yung CBOSS code nyo sa lahat ng boxes and make it visible and clear po. So, after nun, meron na pong CBOSS code yung lahat ng boxes nyo pwede na ipadala ni supplier sa nearest na warehouse sa kanya yung items nyo. And then after 2 to 3 days, marireceive na po namin yung items nyo from your supplier's warehouse to our China warehouse. Then, doon nyo pa lang po may start or doon pa lang po mag start na pwede nang matrack yung orders nyo. Lagay nyo lang po dito yung number ng unique code nyo. Noted na po isulat yung CB or yung CBOSS, yung number lang po and yung email address. Pwede po kayo mag-track sa website namin or pwede rin po kayo mag-track sa Cargo Boss app. So, pick up orders. Kapag ready to pick up na po yung items nyo, mag email po kami tulad ng ganito. So, after nyo pong magbayad sa mga account namin, pwede nyo na pong i-pick up yung orders nyo dun sa Malabon Warehouse namin. Mag-send po kami sa inyo ng total amount na babayaran nyo sa email din po na ginamit nyo nung nag-book po kayo sa Cargo Boss. So, tips and tricks when importing. So, number one, make a WeChat or WhatsApp account. Sa Alibaba po kasi medyo hindi po ganun ka-active yung mga suppliers natin and mas mabilis po talaga silang mag-reply sa WeChat or sa WhatsApp account. Number two, pay using trade assurance for first time but pay using wire transfer if trusted na. Kasi makakatipid po talaga tayo kapag wire transfer yung, ba yung gagamitin nating payment lalo na kung malaki po yung babayaran natin kay supplier. So, number three, stock early and prepare for delays. Number four, have enough cash flow or puhunan para hindi po tayo maubusan agad ng items na ship natin sa lahat ng customers natin. So, number five, as for warranty, especially for electronics products. So, number six, 
order small quantity first, sample size before doing large order or tinatawag natin na sample order para ma-check yung quality ng products. So, ang schedule po na customer service ni Cargo Boss is 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. from Monday to Saturday and 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. kapag Sunday. Pero 5 o'clock pa lang po. Meron na pong sasagot ng lahat ng inquiries nyo. Alright. Now, I think we're ready for our Q&A, no, Ms. Jessa? Yes, ma So, right. proceed po tayo sa Q&A portion. Okay. So, what is CBM? So, yung CBM po is cubic meter po siya. So, yung length times width times height po ng packaging nyo is equal po siya sa CBM. So, length times width times height equals CBM. So, your company have service to import only from China. What about US? Do you have services importing from US? Bali, as of now po, ang available lang po ni Cargo Boss is from China to Philippines po. So, kailan mag magkakaroon ng warehouse si Cargo Boss? Sa South Turn Luzon, especially sa Calamba, Laguna. Medyo mahal shipping from Malabon to Laguna. Wala nakikitain. Sa ngayon po, wala pa pong direct na from, P, from China hanggang sa diretsyong location ni customer si Carga Boss. Lahat po ng items from China is dadalaan po talaga sa Malabon Warehouse natin. Hi, does Cargo Boss also cater to Visayas and Mindanao importers? Bali, kapag taga Visayas or Mindanao po kayo, kayo po yung mag, magbubook ng shipment sa local carrier nyo po para ma-pick up yung items sa Malabon Warehouse at mag-deliver po sa inyo door to door. Meron po ba ang Cargo Boss ng From China Deliver to Shopee na hindi na po dadaan si seller? So, wala pong gantong service si Cargo Boss. Bali, From China to Malabon, pipick upin po talaga or ipapapick up po ni customer yung items nyo sa Malabon Warehouse po namin para kayo po mismo yung nakaka-receive ng items. What is the advantage of telegraphic transfer over credit card? So, kapag telegraphic transfer po yung gamit nyo, 50 RMB lang po yung babayaran nyo, which is less than 400 pesos po. Depende sa rates. Kapag credit card po kasi, 2.99% yung transaction fee ni Alibaba.com. Ano yung CBM cubic meter po? So what if ours is container? Can Cargo Boss import it? Yung sa amin po, wala pa po kaming available na full loaded container. Ang available pa lang po ngayon is loose cargo loaded container which is iba't ibang commodity po yung makakasama nung items nyo. What if my supplier is from US? So, sa ngayon po, China to malabon pa lang po si Cargo Boss. Sana po basic terminologies i-explain po kasi mga newbies yung karamihan things. No worries po kasi kapag katapos po nitong webinar na to, pwede po kayong mag-message sa Facebook page po ni Cargo Boss. Then, step by step po, i-help po namin kayo mula China Hanggang Philippines po. Do you import fragile items like tiles, bathroom, fixtures, construction materials? Yes, possible naman po yung mga fragile na items. Pero before po kayo magpadala ng mga fragile na items, make sure po na nabasa nyo na po yung terms and conditions ni Cargo Boss para sa lahat ng fragile na items. Message lang po kayo sa amin and then isasend po namin sa inyo yung link ng yung link po ng ng website namin kung saan nahalagay po yung 
yung mga rules po ni Cargo Boss. So, how much insurance cover and how many days until it arrives in PH? So, yung insurance po namin, mababasa po to dun sa terms and conditions namin per way bill po yung insurance. So, 15 to 35 days po before ma-receive yung item sa Malabon Warehouse mula pagkaship po ng supplier nyo sa China Warehouse namin. All right, Miss Jessa, maybe we can do two more questions no, so that we can wrap it up na rin. Yes po, wait po. Pili lang ako ng isang question na hindi pa related dun sa mga na nasagot natin kanina. So, eto sabi ni Miss Karen Rodrigo. And by the way, as a buyer din sana, pwede namin makita yung career ng shop at corresponding fees nila. So, para dito po, message lang po kayo sa page ni Cargo Boss. Then, ibibigay po namin lahat ng details po sa inyo. Eto po, last one is from Stepano Amato. So, any products is... Any products not allowed? I want to import some soft drinks in cans, non-alcoholic. So, para sa lahat ng mga products na hindi allowed to import, message nyo lang din po yung page namin, then isi-send po namin lahat ng prohibited na items to import. So, last one na lang. Ayan. So, etong question na to. Is there an additional fee charged by Alibaba if you use Gcash as payment in Alibaba. Usually po, kapag ka sa Alibaba ka po talaga nagbayad, halos lahat ng payment terms, meron po siyang charge na 2.99%. Kaya po, nire-recommend namin na kapag trusted na si supplier, pwede na po kayo magbayad using telegraphic transfer para makatipid po kayo sa fees for Fees for transaction fee. Yan, okay na po. Alright, thank you everyone. Thank you Miss Jessa and thank you Sir Jeremy from Cargo Boss Philippines. So guys, what are you waiting for? Go visit their page uh, on Facebook and start your cargo importing journey with Cargo Boss PH. Again, we want to invite everyone to scan the QR code on the screen and register to Shopee's Cargo Importing Training Series. Balita ko, madami pang pa-discount for cargo importation from our other partners, cargo, cargo companies pa, no? So we still have so much in store for you and we can't wait to see you again on November 29 wherein we will have Wenji Express and they will teach you on the benefits of cargo services. All right. Thank you everyone for joining. Thank you sa lahat ng nag-join. So, kapag meron po kayong question, message lang po kayo sa Cargo Boss Philippines. Assist po namin kayo agad anytime as much na meron po online na customer service. Again, yung customer service po natin is from 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. from Monday to Saturday. 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. kapag Sunday. Thank you so much po ulit sa inyong lahat. I hope na meron po kayong natutunan sa webinar natin. So, Thank message you. lang po kayo. Thank you so much po. Thank you, everyone. Have a great day ahead.